Gay manage. Not gay. gay manage. So can I. He's not going to be a... He's not going to be a oh my contender. God. Hey everybody, I'm Bob. I'm Beth. I'm Charlie. And this is Bourbon and Balls. Bourbon yeah, yeah. and Balls. Feels strange, doesn't it? We haven't done this together. We yes. haven't been together yeah. in like three weeks. Yeah, it's, it's, been, been, yeah. it's been a minute. Yeah, it has. It has. So we it took has. a couple of weeks off. We had we had one intended week off, and then the rest weren't quite intended. All right. Ah, uh, they were two intended. I was okay with two. Okay, two. okay. Yeah. But but mm -hmm. we were missed. I mean, I missed you guys. Well, I missed you guys too. We might have been missed, but I like I missed you yeah. guys. I miss you guys. This is it's, it's nice being back. It yes. is. It feels good. It, the energy is back. Yes. Because we were on fumes. <laughs> I will say that we needed a break. Yeah. We did. We, we did. Are, we, did. we may do that in the future too. When we get you yeah. know whatever, we may do some more bourbon rewinds. Yeah, yeah. I think I think like people that. like the bourbon rewinds. I got yeah. some positive feedback. I know exactly. from a few people. So sure. So every now and then we may take a break, but right now we got some energy, so we're going to do this for a little while. Yes. 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 Um, yes. All right. Uh, oh, uh, if you haven't caught it already. Go over and catch our recorded live stream. Yes. <laughs> Actually, it was pretty good. It was. We had a lot of fun. That we had a lot it. of interaction. So. Yeah, it was the funnest live stream we've yeah. yeah. had yet. Yeah. Yeah, so just because it's live doesn't mean you can't still see wow. it. So it's go, go back no. and see it. Yeah. It yeah. is unedited, and you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you are welcome. <laughs> Maybe slightly inappropriate at times, but hey. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. it's highly we encouraged. Are. <laughs> so, all right, so today we are um, going to try a special bottle that I've been looking forward to do. Uh, it is the 13th Colony, the new one, the 15th anniversary. Uh, they have this year only 3,000 bottles were made. 3,600 3, bottles, I think, were made this year. Like nice. 3,600 out of Georgia, Jeez. right? Yeah, it's out of Georgia. Uh, so, so is this is not Perry. like last year's version. Of uh, their high end bourbon, where that is double oak this right. year is a castrate, so it should be less oakier. So, if that's the case, that is right down my alley because that's the one complaint I had last year right. mm -hmm. was it's too little, little too oaky for me. Mm -hmm. And so, it was in our, um, yes, the the bourbon the, of the year, your bourbon of the year, yeah, still, yeah. Now, I don't think it made it out of the um first round though, right? Right, right, mm -hmm. but it was in it. Yes, it definitely was in it. It deserved to be in it. I agree. I agree. Yeah, it's I a totally great agree. Um, I love the color. Yeah. Just right off. I mean. Good God. Yeah. God bless. You can't even put this cork back on. Jeez. 13. Oh, oh good fucking job. hammer. All right, there we go. It'll be good, yeah. It's a dark uh, amber. Oh, it's dark all right. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, no, an amber is not exactly a, right. Now, would you agree it's not as dark as last year's? Remember that thing was coffee. That was more like that. coffee, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. This is yeah, dark amber. It is sweet to the nose. Oh, mm -hmm. oh buddy. And full body. Sweet and full body, yes. I think. Now, and I'm I'm saying as a novice, right? Mm -hmm. You guys are you oh, you is, guys do this a lot more often than I do. Is, but you're catching up with this girl. I'm Don't sell I'm, yourself I am. short. But that's yeah, a great nose. Great. But great, if you're great new nose. to this and um you're not uh, sure what you like. You're gonna you're gonna smell this. You're gonna get the nose on this, and you're gonna be like, "That is something I want to try." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're no, not, totally if you're beginning, I don't know if you want to try this or not. It's one thirty nine. It's almost half. It, so it, it's high in alcohol. <laughs> sure, very high in alcohol. <laughs> it's gonna burn. But I'm gonna tell you, uh, as somebody who is learning, uh, oh, Lord, this is the good. smell does not smell as hot. No, no, you're as right. the 139. Right. So I've had uh, bourbons that are less heat infused mm -hmm. on the nose. Um, so you've got, you know, 100s, 109s, 110s, 115s mm -hmm. that are hotter on the smell. Mm -hmm. This does not have that. This is great. My, does that make sense? Perfect sense. This is a great nose. Well, because well, you get more of the sweetness. Well, well, descri well, yeah, well described on the nose, yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. It might be my favorite nose of the year. Oh, I guess we're going in. I'm almost, I'm in. almost like afraid because it's like the nose is so you good. Don't you, you know. Right, you don't want to disappoint. <laughs> yeah, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, here we right. go. You're gonna get the heat when you drink it, though. Woo! <sighs> so be prepared for that. It's not a bad heat. It's just you're gonna get the heat. You don't get it on the nose, but you're gonna get it on the taste, in my opinion. Oh. So if this I'm is. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that's got some nice rye in it. It's got a really, I think it's, I think it's like a perfect, 
don't know what the mash bill is, but I'm going to say it's like a perfect amount of rye. It's right. spicy, but it's not overwhelming. It's, it stays on the tip of your tongue. Yep. It's and full then, flavored. Very full flavored. You're, you're yeah. going to get the heat, but you're also going to get sweetness. Yeah. You're going to get some uh, milkiness. Mm -hmm. And I would have thought more around 115. I, I think this drinks lower it does. It than does. the actual proof. It smells myself. and drinks lower Ooh, than what you're going to think. Oh. That is that is a very good bourbon. It is not a beginner bourbon. <laughs> no, it's not. For it is not. For drinking bourbon for a while. Um, but I can't even much. taste right now because it's still going. Yeah. Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. going to get a little strawberry. Man, oh man. That, that is, is good nice. though. I think, I got to sip it again. But I think this is, might be better than the double oak from last year. So again, I'm not an oaky person. I'm not an oaky person, and I and I that comes from my wine background. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't like Chardonnays; they're too oaky, too buttery, too. Oof, I don't like that. Um, but this is. This is very good. It is very good. Don't throw your pen under there; we'll lose it, and you can't. We're not gonna. Are, are we grading this? Are we doing? What are well, we yeah. Doing? yeah. <gasps> Come on, man! That's what the viewers want. That's what the viewers want. Give <laughs> them what they want, man. God, this is good. just just yeah. smelling it makes you happy. Now there is a chateau um something Saint Michel, something. Yeah. And uh to me that is you mentioned a Chardonnay. They have mm -hmm. a Chardonnay that's crisp and not too oaky. If you Chateau ever... Saint Michel is um Pretty widely known okay. for inexpensive. Yeah, yeah, it is. Huh? But high volume, mm -hmm. high taste. Mm -hmm. So yes. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Well, Charlie doesn't know because he doesn't drink wine yet. No, I'm not. We're not gonna yet. get. We're gonna One get him there. Days, I'll get into we it. might get him there. Oh, oh, my God, God. That's so good. That's butterscotch. <laughs> butterscotch. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're there right. There is a huge butterscotch air smell <coughs> on the nose. Um, butterscotch is one of my favorite things in the world. Man, this is great. But yeah, but it's um. I have no idea what they're doing down there, but my God. Yeah. It's almost like a little. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm getting way out there, but it's almost like a little apple butter on some toasty bread mm. with a little spice on it. Mm -hmm. It just all equals itself out really well, I think. Hmm. It's a very descriptive bourbon. Yeah, that's just what I taste. There's a little. So I used to um, used to work at a restaurant, um, Colonial Inn, Logan, Ohio, and one of our things was we would serve. You know how Mexican restaurants tortillas, chips, and salsa, right? Mm -hmm. That was a thing. We were Captain's wafers and apple butter. Ooh, nice. That okay. was, yeah, that, that, was, was, that was how you, you started yes. your meal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that definitely has a little bit of that feel okay. to me. Um, yeah, thank you for the affirmation. I appreciate it. Yeah, no. Mm, very it's, good. Um, it's been years and years, but I, that kind of brings me home. Mm. When you said apple butter, I was like, yep. I can, mm. I can, because I, at first I'm butterscotch. Okay, yeah. Mm. But when you said apple butter, I can, can see us serving the salads and the little oh, yeah, just, Captain just a little bit on yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, with the butterscotch or with the apple butter. Yeah, with apple butter, yeah. I've made apple butter in a in a uh, crock pot before. Have you ever Ooh, done that? No, uh, uh, it's, it's the cheater's way. Okay. To me, that's a cheater's way, but uh, that's the way to keep it keep it fresh and keep the keep whole it, bar yep, getting some. Yep, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice. Yeah, getting some. <laughs> 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 No, just say how you're not just kidding. We're not. We're just kidding. We're how that Sunday night went. I know. <laughs> You'd have to watch the live stream. I don't want to get that joke. But, okay. Um, all right. Well, let's do the scores. All right. And let's see where we're at. Bob, what we got? Well, I think you've probably heard enough of my descriptions. Oh, yeah. It's very sexy. And it's, it, and it's a 90. Nine, 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 nine. Nine nose, nice. Nine taste, nine finish. It's a ninety even for me. Okay. I, I I didn't add mine up, but if I did it just visually, which anybody who knows me, is, I'm not a math person. Yeah. I'm you, going. It's pretty nine. Your looks like you're about eight point nine. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say eighty eighty nine percent or eighty yeah. nine yeah, maybe. Yeah. Why don't you do that and come back around to you? Okay. <laughs> uh, I scored it a nine two nine point two five. Oh, down the board. even higher. So I gave it a 92.5. Uh, it's great. So 
Oh, so, right. we made this rule in our live stream, and for those who haven't watched it, I highly recommend you go watch it. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Um, we're going to try to keep it down to where each of us pick one bottle per quarter. For... I thought it was two per quarter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two per... Yeah, my bad. My bad, you're right. Two per... Up to... Up to. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to, because... Yeah, right, right, right. You're something right, right. qualified, something qualified. <laughs> for bourbon of the year. Thus far, we have two bottles that have been nominated for bourbon of the year. Uh, and they are the Barrel King. Um, mm -hmm. That very first one that we, we tasted, which you haven't tasted the second one yet. Mm -hmm. um, and... What was the other one? Oh! The natural barrel uh, cast strength okay. was my pick for bourbon of the year as far as qualifier. Uh, does anyone, uh, anybody want to make this one? I'll nominate. Okay. Bob will. Bob, okay. You're finally, you're finally in. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in. So Bob, Bob nominates finished. this uh, yeah, for this bourbon is lovely. of the year. This is lovely. I will say, Bob, take a drink. Mm -hmm. Do me a favor, Charlie. Take, a, take your I last drink. I barely have anything left. I know. And then taste the strawberry. It, oh, it really? definitely takes away the sweetness, but not in a bad way. Mm -hmm. Tell me I'm wrong. It makes it woodsy and earthy and... Yeah, and it, 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 it accentuates it. Yes. It takes the tangy But it's not, it. it's not sweet, oh, which no. is what you expect out of a right. strawberry. Wow. Um, good call on your part. Oh, it's it's mm. so good, though. I mean, mm. it's, it's not a bad takeaway from sweetness. Mm -mm. It really just kind of... Mm. Like a counterbalance kind of yes. thing. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it shows yeah. that the right food with the right oh, yeah. drink exactly. yep. Yep. really can yeah. balance each other out. And I tell you what, next tasting Charlie has, which is coming up. May 4th. Uh, exactly. May 4th. I'm going to make it a point to load up on, on the fincas that are really good. And I'm going to bring some dry roasted peanuts. Okay. And just like, you know, talking about certain bourbons, we're going to have a, sure. a nut. I'm going to let you pick a nutty bourbon. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. To have with the La like Finca, which is, a, which, okay, there you go, which is like a nutty cigar oh, with yeah. some dry roasted nuts. Oh, my man. God. And it'll be, I guarantee you, it'll be awesome. It'll I'd be an awesome be a, combo. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I, can't, yeah. I can't wait. It really does that make a difference. A time. Mm -hmm. I mean, no matter what your food is, no matter what your drink is, beer and wine, mm -hmm. or, or beer and whatever you're eating, Wine and whatever you're eating, mm -hmm. bourbon, whatever you're yeah. eating, margaritas mm -hmm. and whatever you're eating. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it does make a difference. So if you learn how to balance those out, uh, if you are not a fan of bourbon or if you're not a fan of wine, if you're not a fan of beer, find the right balance mm -hmm. with the food that you're going to mm -hmm. eat yep. and you're going to appreciate it more. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. actually going to like it. So... Oh. Oh, all right. Well, that's, that's my, our review that's my yeah. on uh, 13th Colony uh, 15th anniversary. Uh, if you are lucky enough to get one out there, hold on to it. Yep. Yeah. Well, well, well done. Well done. So Delicious. We're going we're gonna to yeah. be moving on to sports here in just yes. a little bit. So thanks right. for hanging in with us. We'll be right back. All right. We'll see you uh, right. in a minute. All right. All right. Hey everybody, we are back. I am Bob. I'm Beth. Mm -hmm. And you Who are. are, are you? you know what? <laughs> you don't know by now, then you don't need to be watching this channel. I'm just kidding, Charlie. That's fair. What are you doing? What are you doing? Mm. You just got some. Crummage, man. Just rubbing some crummage off your, off your shoulder, man. You, well. So what are we drinking here? Cause, uh... So we always drink a nice little bourbon while we talk about sports. Mm -hmm. And today, um, I think we drank this with Phil and Jeff. But because Bob was not here, oh. and I think he's going to be a fan of this, this is the latest edition of Barrel King. You can't not be a fan of, of it. the United oh. Series. Which, by the way, I cannot. I am so geeked up about Beth is too. Uh, the ne next bottle from mm. Barrel King is going to be finished in a stag slash cherry barrel. So, cannot wait. And hot chocolate. Very, yeah. Oh, and I'm not a chocolate fan, but I can't and, wait. or a cherry fan. I'm yes. going to put it all out there. Mm. I don't like cherries wait. and I don't like chocolate, but this but sounds amazing. I thought of it, yes. Mm. But, anyways, I should get that next week. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, Bob, let me know what you think and then we'll talk about sports. This is lovely. Lovely nose. Mm hmm. And definitely like a a little bit of a little bit of bitter chocolate, but not too bitter. Whew, man, it's nice. Man, it's gone all over the place. It is. Whatever they're doing about Barrel King, if you can maybe keep doing it, join a friend, yeah. or if you can 
Join a friend? Why? Right, but, you know, join the barrel club? With a friend? Charlie Charlie didn't ask any of us to join with him. Well, I didn't know if he wanted to join, but... Well, we didn't know. You get to drink it while you're here. Mm. That's true. I don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, what do you think? Nice rye with sweet, uh, excellent combination. And, uh... It's almost has a little bit of red licorice about it instead of black. Yep. Ooh. Um, That's good. I like it. I like it a lot. As a non-licorice fan, that's hot. It's mm -hmm. hot. It is hot. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, but as a non-licorice fan, you know what? It's, it's, it's only not. 118, which tells you, oh, Bob, well. it's probably a lot of rye. He's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm on the yeah. tip of the tongue. Yep. How's that go? Alright, so Bob's gonna lead us into sports as he always do. He's a sports nut. So Bob, go for hey, it. Hey, we got some fun stuff to talk about with the NFL. We're all we NFC do. North fans. We got two Bengals fans here. We got one Browns, Browns fan, fan here. Um, but what do you think about Mr. Well, Russell Brownfield? Wilson? Yeah, no, no, yeah, absolutely. Russell Wilson going to Schittsburg. What do you guys? I think, think there's a play in there for him. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was a quick. It was very quick. Mm -hmm. No, you're right. You're um, right. I, I don't think uh, he'll last long there. But I think it was. Oh, it, really? I think it was a money thing. Okay. No, I agree. It's, I agree. It's a money thing. It's a bargain for like a, a million oh. point one point yeah. two million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I, I uh, good for him. He's gonna mm -hmm. make some money. Mm -hmm. But let's let's. You're not a, you're not a quarterback anymore. Maybe. Well, they can convert him into their culture. It's. Well, rape culture? <laughs> Damn. Sorry. Damn. SA culture? Sorry. Woo. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> and that's not him. That's, that is not him. That's not him. Sorry. You know what I love about all this? Uh, is she, you think we were talking about Baltimore? <laughs> yeah. Or Raiders? I love or... the fact that neither side, I don't believe, is going to win. Nor their, neither, neither Sean Payton or... Russell Wilson is going to win out on this. No, okay. no. I disagree because depending on how Sean, Pont, Sean gets in the draft, could make a difference. I just don't think... Um, His job's on the line, don't you think? No, totally. Which, by the totally. way, I want to congratulate myself because... Of course you do. I do. Because um, <laughs> back in September, I watched a video back then. We talked about Russell Wilson. And I even swore, don't be surprised, he doesn't get cut. Mm -hmm. I don't know what his contract situation is, but don't mm -hmm. surprise that they don't part way from him come you know this yeah, time right. this year. He's right. not a good quarterback. He's not a good quarterback. He's not. And but I don't I'm a big Sean I'm not a Sean Payton fan. I know you are. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I think both of them are gonna just get they're both gonna be gone with out of the yeah. league within two yeah. years. So should should we not be worried? So then we should not be worried about the about Schittsburg. I think he's better than Kenny Pickett. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's, no, I, that's my main point. Kenny you know what I mean? Yeah. I think he can get he can game manage. Pittsburgh's not going to be a contender he in the next... He can game manage. He can manage games. Oh, game. Game manage. No. He can game manage. So can I. He's not going to be a... He's not going to be a oh contender. <laughs> Pretzel on my nose. With salt. I can game manage. Oh. He's not going to... Pittsburgh's not going to be a contender in the next few years. They're just not. Um, I went up my nose through my back of my mouth. Good, good, for, oh. good for Pittsburgh for picking him up and yeah. thinking that he will make a difference. He's not. Okay. Um, they're not going to be a contender. It's as a lose-lose lose proposition. As, as they, Asia said... Who? Asia. Asia. His Asia. wife? As Asia his said... His wife. What's his, his wife's his name? Wife. I don't know what his wife's name is. No, his wife is that... No, that's what that model. Sierra, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who's no, Asia? No, I'm talking about the band, Asia. Only time oh. to tell. Only time. Uh, <laughs> I felt the rain down in Africa. That's Toto. <laughs> that's Toto, yeah. <laughs> Same era, but that's Toto. <laughs> but didn't they sing? Why don't you give me a Milli Vanilla song, too, while you're at it? <laughs> Girl, you know it's true. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sports and bourbon song, by the way. It's called Bourbon and Balls. And what about T. Higgs? Did you hear about today? I heard no. that he wants to be traded. He wants to be traded. And he was franchise tag quite a while ago. So why is it coming out now? And I, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm just asking. I'm asking. I don't know. I say if they trade him, he has to go to NFC. Okay. You do okay. not trade him to an AFC team. I think they're going to hold on to him. Okay, but I'm saying if you yeah. did. Right, right, right. 
But, you know, Jonah Williams wanted to be traded, and look how that turned out. Mm -hmm. so, Jonah go. Hill said, let's go uh, to Vegas. <laughs> you remember that scene from uh, Wolf of Wall Street with Jonah Williams? Whipped out his penis. I've never seen that. I've never seen Wolf that of Wall Street was the most um, prolific movie when it comes to cussing <laughs> and the F word. Okay. I want to say something about Wolf of Wall Street. I loved it. I loved it too. Yeah, here's the reason why I loved it. Because it was almost a mirror image of my life in the mortgage business back in the day. <laughs> mm, I, I can't. We did some wild shit. Yeah. And I, when I watched that, I'm like, damn, I did that. So I, back I, in the day, um, my wife was... Karen was in. Yeah, that. I'm just saying it was it was crazy burning both ends of the candle. Oh. You knew it was going to end. It was going to end badly, but <laughs> you had fun on the way. And uh, I couldn't plan anything at the end of the month ever. No. And she would say, "What's well, the end of the month? Yep, well, I can't, can't plan it." <laughs> no, you're right. you're right. And then I got to the point where I'm like, every day is the end of the month, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll stop planning shit. No. I'm uh, good. Let her demise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Um... And what about uh, oh, everybody's favorite quarterback uh, from Minnesota going to Atlanta? Yeah. Oh, it is official. Yeah, it's official. He's going to Atlanta. Thank God, because freaking they got rid of what's his dumbass, and he's my dumbass. Oh yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a good from move. UC, from UC. Yeah. Do you yeah. think it's a good move? He was. I think it's a good move. I just, I, 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 think thought, Min I thought Minnesota would hold on to him. To be honest with you, yeah. I, I, I thought Justin Fields would go down to Atlanta, and I think Justin Fields is going to be hung out to dry right now. Well, I think really. Justin Fields was a better fit for Atlanta than Kirk Cousins is, and that's what I'm saying. It's a, it's a close call. Atlanta's a great running team. I think team. Kirk Cousins is done. I know. I just do. But I Justin Fields could have made Atlanta the Baltimore, the Baltimore the NFC. When in a in a dome. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, yes, yeah, it's, it's interesting. The moves that have been made are like. I'm sure Kyle Pitts is happy. Kyle let's, Pitts, I don't remember him. He's a tight end for Atlanta. Okay, Atlanta okay, okay. We'll talk, let's, can we talk about the big move? Sure, go ahead. Jason Kelsey. Who's oh, gonna, he retired. Who's going to take his place? No, I have no idea. You have any any I idea about that? Less. I don't. Okay, no, okay. No, I don't. Um, but, I good, was, but good for him. Yeah. It was good timing for calling it quits. You know yeah, at least I mean? he won't so, be in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. No, if I've got three kids and I want to play with them, I'm done. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What else do I have to accomplish? He's got his podcast with his brother, so he's well, got, I've, yeah, I've he's got, got, I've got money. Oh, my God, I hate that podcast. I don't need... Mm -hmm. You hate that podcast? Oh, my God, I hate it with a passion. Why? Oh, uh, Travis Kelsey's on it. <laughs> you don't like Travis Kelsey? No. <laughs> because he's dating... Taylor Swift. I didn't like him before. You don't understand that. No, I do. Because you don't like Taylor Swift. I, no, I don't like him before Taylor Swift. I didn't like him before. Because right. he would trash UC, and that's where he's from. He don't know his roots. He's not yeah. from UC. He went to freaking UC. He went there. He's that's from, not where he's, he's from. from. Cleveland originally, I understand right? that, yeah, but right. he is, don't, don't, don't. So. Charlie's a UC grad. Uh, so Charlie is UC I claim, I, with, I, with abandonment issues. No, I claim, I claim Kenyon Martin... Danny Forston, uh, Tony Pipe, Armand Benz. Almost all basketball. No, the last two are football. <laughs> but almost all basketball. I don't. Brian Kelly, I hate. He can go in the same. I don't like Brian Kelly. Cauldron as uh, Keith Greger and <laughs> Travis Kelsey. So, 100 years ago, if you were sitting there and Travis Kelsey gets booted for a year because drug use, I don't care about that. You probably did back then. I just no. My problem is 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 the fact that he doesn't acknowledge you. See, he does. Yes, his wife does. Bernard's wife does. Jason Kelsey's wife does. She's okay. a big fan of you. See. Okay. Okay. I do well, like Jason I, Kelsey. I, I don't I, I'm not Jason Kelsey, but what's his face? Kylie Kelsey. Yes, her face. I disagree. I think mm. Jason and Travis both. Oh, I love. Mm. What? I love Jason Kelsey. I don't like Travis Kelsey. You don't like him because of Taylor Swift. No, I didn't like him before. No, I disagree. Oh, well, you can disagree with myself if you want, but okay. I know what I want. <laughs> well, I'm going to jump well. out of the NFL. And we're going to go on to some uh, do some pre-March madness, guys. You got any, any got any dark horses? I mean, we're going to, it's Fun. early yet. We're going well, to I mean, the conference. I haven't watched finals. one effing game. Okay, okay. All year. Okay. The only thing, I'm more familiar with Kate and Clark in Iowa than I am with NCAA men's yeah, basketball. If we're, right. we're going to go with women's, uh -huh, yeah. uh, I'm going to go South Carolina. Yeah, South Carolina's going to be um, tough to beat. 
I will tell you that uh, Don Staley um, epitomizes what it's supposed to be and she, to be a coach. And she came out and apologized. She did, as she should. Yeah, yeah, exactly. As she should. Yep. But, but she shouldn't have. She shouldn't have had to. But, because the but LSU player... Uh, I think it's good damage control, It is, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. The LSU player... Was the first one that was out of, out of hand. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And I love, I love the brother that came out and the security props to the security dude was right behind him mm -hmm. police whatever and 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 put the clasp on him and it got a little out of hand but i would say also gets, <clears throat> the know. lsu coach is it kim mulkey mm -hmm. so kim mulkey comes out and says <laughs> i wish she would have went after so she would have somebody big yeah angel <laughs> Reese. i wish she would have went out <laughs> yeah actually it was angel reese yeah, uh, yeah. stop that mm -hmm. just stop mm -hmm. Stop. Your mm -hmm. player, <laughs> and I can't remember who it was, no, it's, yeah, yeah. was fouling, fouling the the South Carolina player. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. And it was blatant. Mm -hmm. It was blatant. Yeah, it would have been, I don't know, I don't know the NBA versus college women's, but it would have been like a flagrant two sure. in the NBA because it was your, a clear, a clear your, path foul. Your player was definitely in there mm -hmm. beating the shit out of mm -hmm. the South Carolina player. Yep. And South Carolina's person came in and said, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and all you can say is, I wish you would have done that to Angel Reese. Don't do that. Yeah. Say my players made a mistake. Mm -hmm. Say. No, you're right. Good point. Good stop point. Stop yeah, doing I, that. I can't, I can't, I can't argue stop with that. Stop doing yeah. that. Yep, yep. Um, the, I think the brother went on the field and got scared once he saw the size of the other guy. I mean. There's some big gals, but mm -hmm. yeah, stop doing that. Mm -hmm. Just just say what had happened yeah. and move on. You yeah, know? I, th I think the tournament this year is going to going to be great. It is the women's tournament. That's gonna actually be great. might be the first time I I know so. It'll be the most I've ever watched the women's tournament. I ain't mm -hmm. started yet. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, it is going to be gonna great. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be for great. Women. It's going to be great. And sort of the guys go. What I say? I say good for women. Good for women, because you know. <laughs> Well, as far as the guys go, you know, I talked about my dark horse early in the year, probably too early, because they like lost four or five in the beginning of January. Yeah, not Virginia. No, I was talking about uh, St. John's. Mm. Oh yeah. And then, uh, did you hear the press conference about after about four losses? No. He came out, and some <clears throat> some coaches will call like a subtle comment and call the guys out. No, I didn't hear the whole press conference. Press conference, but he must have made the whole press conference about all their shortcomings and called everybody on the team out. He said, I believe we have the most unathletic team in the league. <laughs> and then he went on to say, I love so-and-so's play and so-and-so's play, but we're the slowest uh, horizontal team in the league. We can't we can't move horizontally. And then he even went on to go further Damn. <laughs> and say, you know, I think I I I coached the Celtics. If you remember this, yeah, wow. I coached the Celtics, and we didn't win anything. But that was more enjoyable than the team I'm coaching wow. now. <laughs> Damn, good for him. So yeah, good for him. And guess what happened after that? They won. They, they won, won the last four or five games. So Joe Lenardi has them, and as their first four in, okay. they may not make it. But hey, that's still going to be well, my dark horse. He's not going to make it. No, no, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, and then um, I don't know. Do you have anything else as far as the men go? Um, I don't think Saint okay. John's going to do that. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Hey, which by the way, that segues into our contest, Bob. Bob. Oh yes, 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 yes. yes. We're going to get an ESPN group together. Uh, I'll be posting the link. It'll be on our YouTube page, on our Facebook page. You guys jump in. Whoever wins. Uh, other than the three of us. Um, we don't count. Yeah, we don't count. We'll, we'll play along, but we don't count. And whoever gets the the highest in the end will get a bottle of Magnolia. Yes. Free bottle. Full yep. bottle. Free full unopened. bottle. Unopened. Yeah. Not a sample. No. Yep. no. No, no, Yep. So that'll be a lot of fun. So we we'll hope you join us there. Should be, a, should be a great time. Should be a great what, time. Who do you think? I mean, you've been watching. Mm -hmm. Who do you think? Final four. What do you think? North Carolina stands out for me. Okay. And um, 
I like St. John's. I like St. Mary's. This is the weirdest year because if you listen to all the talking heads, nobody can agree, um, which is weird because usually like, like one conference that stands out. Sure. But if you listen to uh, Jay Billis, he says it's um, he says it's the SEC. If you listen to um, Will Bond, it's the Big Ten. A lot of the other ones are saying the Big Twelve. So who knows? This is really going to be like the biggest year in terms of parity, and mm -hmm. and and who can do what? So but, I could say Butler and do well. I don't know about Butler, but you know, <laughs> just, just throwing it out there. <laughs> Hypothetically, I mean, you know, yeah, you yeah. I mean, know. but you never know. You you just don't know. But like I said, um, this would be a great year for parity, and and who knows who's going to win? Like one of you guys were talking about, whoever picked the their funnest mascot. You know yeah. what I mean? Might That's might how win. I'm going to pick mine. My... Yeah, but um. Yeah, it'll, it'll be a great year. I like UNC. I like St. John's. I like St. Mary's also as an underdog. I don't usually disclose my underdogs, but those are two of my underdogs this year. Okay. Uh, I think I don't know where the conf the conference is for this week, but uh, I'd like to see St. Mary's beat Gonzaga. Um, so that, so that I, should be fun. My old bosses were Gonzaga graduates. Is that so, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, so it's mm -hmm. always hard for me to go against Gonzaga, but I'm like, yeah. Mm -mm. They're number two. They're number two in their division, and St. Mary's is number one. So I have a feeling they're probably going to end up going up against yeah. each other in the end of the conference sure. championship. So it's uh, all right. Sports fun. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to everything. And it's that time of year. Hey, real quick, mm -hmm. Bob. Last year with or last week, last week mm -hmm. we had Phil and Jeff mm -hmm. for a sports movie. I'm just wondering, do you have one? What's your favorite sports movie? I know you don't watch movies a lot, but do you have one? No, I, I I think Brian Song probably would have. When he okay. put that up, I'm like, yeah, that's probably, you know. Okay. It's my, an you incredible know. movie. It mm -hmm. really is. You know, somebody, yeah. at, it's moving. somebody mentioned that we forgot Major League. It's not. Nope. We didn't forget it. I could. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We didn't forget it. Never mind. Uh, and I'm going to say this. Bad. I'm going to say this about it. Oh, it's a great movie. It is a great movie. Mil um, Willie May Hayes? No. Willie? It's. it's Willie Hayes May. Say Hayes? Say hey, man. Anyway, Say well, hey, Willie. Wesley Snipe, right? No, it's no. Yes. Um, it's Wesley Snipes. It's Snipe. Charlie Sheen as the pitcher. Right. Well, Wesley Snipes is a wild thing. Well, yeah, but it's. Anyway, I don't know if it's top five. <laughs> it's, well, it's not. <laughs> to me, it's not. Um, but hey, comment in the comment section. Yeah, sure. Let us know what you think your favorite sure. sports movie I is. I missed out on Hoosiers on my top five. Fucking just missed the whole thing. <laughs> I just flat out, flat out missed Hoosiers. I don't know. Anyways. Anyways. All right. Well, we're running out of battery and disk space, so we got to go. I think we have 20 seconds to go, so I want to thank you guys. I missed yeah, you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I missed Bob, you, Bob. missed you, man. It was fun. Bob back. Glad to have you good back. Good back. I appreciate and, you guys. Uh, we're having a Phil good time. And, Phil and Jeff is horrible. No. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll mess with you, Jeff. I'll mess with you. I love Jeff. Thank you, Phil and Jeff. I appreciate you. All right. All right. All right. Until next time. Peace, love, and bourbon. Yeah. Bye.